flowers and chocolates. Pretty much the staple for your gifts during Valentine's Day. And joining us now to talk about the confectionery, confectionery delights is Todd Baker of Baker's Candy, located in Greenwood, Nebraska. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. And also, there's a congratulations in order. You guys just won a, a pretty big award. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we just recently received the Peter's Chocolate Innovator Award, which uh -huh. uh, was, uh, was the inaugural uh, award for innovators within the chocolate industry. And I think it was given specifically because of some of the unique processes by which we make chocolate here in Nebraska. Uh, the world's taking notice, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. And the way that you guys started making candy is really interesting. Uh, is, tell me a little bit on how your dad got involved in this business. Yeah, well, our, our story is quite unique, yeah. uh, actually. It was my father, Kevin Baker, that started Baker's Candies back in the 1980s. But before that, dad was an aerospace engineer. He actually worked for uh, the Defense Department as a defense contractor, mass producing missile systems. And so uh, after they had built enough missiles to, to do what needed to be done, uh, they were out of work, and uh, and Dad got really, really good at making large amounts of, of missiles, and so um, it was just a transition into figuring out what to make the most of next, and uh, he, he was looking for a, for a happier turn in his career, and so rather than missiles, Dad started making chocolate melt which is really kind of the, the pinnacle innovation in the gourmet chocolate industry. It's a piece best described by letting it just melt away in your mouth, and that's where that term comes from. So, so for people who aren't familiar with uh, chocolate melt can you tell us a little bit but on, on what exactly that means? Yes, absolutely. Well, all over the world, different regions are known for the chocolates that they produce. Uh, Switzerland is, is known for its, its Swiss milk chocolate, Belgium chocolate as dark chocolate, Bavarian chocolates for their flavor. But uh, the chocolate melt away, it's a, it's a piece by con chocolate connoisseurs recognized for, for its superior ability to melt in the mouth. Um, it was always considered the most difficult chocolate confection to make. And so dad felt like it was the pinnacle engineering achievement within chocolate. And so he set out to perfect the mass production of the chocolate melt away, something nobody had ever really done before. Uh, and when he did it, he made a piece that became synonymous with the state of Nebraska. And so uh, now, just like we know the European chocolate mm -hmm. traditions, the world is starting to take note that, that Nebraska makes the best chocolate melt in the world. And it's a piece that we're proud to produce. And so uh, we quite literally have, have taken pride in the fact that we make Nebraska's chocolate. Yeah, what's, what's the hardest thing that goes with making chocolate? Yeah, well, well, chocolate's a little unique. Yeah. Um, it, it actually is a, it's a crystalline by nature, and so it has to undergo a chemical uh, process um, to go from a liquid to a solid, and uh, controlling the phase conversion of chocolate is extremely difficult to do. We call it tempering in the chocolate factory, uh, but we're, we're, we're pretty good at it. We've been, we've been practicing our trade for a couple of generations now, and uh, there's a third generation of, of little bakers that are ensuring the future of chocolate making in Nebraska, and so this has quite literally become our family trade. Uh, it's, it's part engineering and technology and part art form. Well, you guys have a lot of work ahead of you with Valentine's Day and everything, so congratulations on the award, and hopefully everything goes smoothly for Valentine's Day and for days ahead for you guys. Thank hey, you so much for joining us. Absolutely. It's a privilege to be here. All right. Thank you. So, uh, we will be right back.